Hello all my YouTube and internet crafty friends and welcome to my channel. Today I am so excited to share with you an envelope folio journal. It was a challenge from a line.arrow Facebook group and she has a set of freebies for you. If you'd like to join the challenge, head on over there, line.arrow Facebook group. Okay, so this is my uh, envelope folio journal and that is a folio made with envelopes um, you put two or more together and you make some pockets and things like that so let's take a look okay so my journal is a quarter inch thick it has one signature of papers in it uh, the cover paper is from the purring cat studio i encourage you to check her channel out too she has a wonderful papers in her etsy shop and she makes beautiful things um, on her youtube channel um so there you have it let's take a peek i tied it with this ribbon here that's got some faux like stitching because i love green <laughs> Okay, and I put some trim along here and a little book plate down here at the bottom. So if we open up the first page, we have another envelope and this is a flip open envelope. And you have a pocket on the outside. This is also part of the freebie kit. I did add this clock um, to it though. Okay, so then yeah, I have two tags here. One, this is from the freebie kit. And this one is from the Purring Cat Studio, along with this paper, this backing paper. This is also from the Purring Cat Studio. I kind of mixed the two together in this journal. Okay, so in this um, envelope, we have a tag that I collaged with some book page and some paper from the Purring Cat Studio. And then I stuck this little freebie notebook in there. <laughs> Um, it's actually three tags. It's uh, three tags, but I cut one off and I made a little book out of it. I sewed the papers down the middle and I kind of waterfalled them at the top and the bottom there. And then there's some more of the freebies right there. There's a little journaling card and a little pocket embellishment as well. Okay, so that goes in there. That was my first envelope. This is my second envelope. And in here, we have a journaling card. And I stitched all the way around that. I added it to some card stock. Stitched all the way around it and makes a lovely journaling card. Nice big journaling space. In the center of my journal, I added these two pockets. And they came out of the center of these um, specimen cards. So I'll, I'll lay it over here so you can see it. What you do is you cut the middle out and then you get your specimen and laminate it and then stick it in the middle of your specimen card, glue it down, and there you have your specimen card. I embellished these um, little pockets. Here's a uh, mini size. The, it, the kit comes with uh, two small and two large ones. Um, so there's that one. And then I added some pages. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five pages. So that's 20 sides and also have an envelope in the middle. So what I did here is I sewed some material tabs on it to make it look like a folio. Um, you have some vellum here. It's really pretty print. I don't know if you can see it. Can I make a shadow here? Mm, I don't know. Anyway, it's there. Okay, then I added this uh, decorated paper clip. I just took some material and my peeking shears. I stitched this leaf on and added a little embellishment from the freebies. You can see I um, rounded all the corners on the pages. I kind of like it, how it comes in a little bit that way so that you can see my eyelets at the bottom and the top. It doesn't interfere. 
This is from a book. I just thought, hey, it's botanical, right? <laughs> Nature, so I stuck it in there. And I love to stencil, so here are some of my stencils here. There's another top, some more stenciling and um, cheesecloth behind that. Here's another snippet. It's a material lace cheesecloth and then a little paper square. And then there you have a tad right here. And then in the middle we have the envelope, which I decoupaged and added some embellishments to. You can see here is a pocket. This is from the freebies. I just folded it in half and made a card out of it. And then here I have a belly band with another specimen card. I just see it there. I went to my garden and actually snipped some plants off and put them in a book to flatten them out. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I could hardly wait so that I could make these. Um, but I really enjoyed the process and it turned out really cool. So I laminated them and then I stuck them in the um, cards. Okay, and then this uh, beetle right here is on some paper that I was jelly printing with my first time. And uh, so I stenciled this bug on it and cut it out and added some book page behind it. Now this paper clip is kind of unique. We have this on here because this is not permanent so that you can take the envelope out if you'd like. Um, you can see where it's bound right here. So, let's put that back on. Let's stick that back in. And on we go. <laughs> we have some lace down here. I just kind of glued it on and scrunched it up as I went. Some more stenciling along that edge. We have another tab here. More stenciling. And on this side here, I made a little um, pocket with some lace and a little card. And it snowed a button on here. And then this is from the freebie, freebie kit from Line.Arrow. Um, it comes in this size, uh, middle size, and a large size. So this size, this size, and then a full page size. And then this is one of my specimens that I didn't have a card for. <laughs> so I just have it laminated here with a little eyelet so that you can clip it onto your key ring or whatever you like. So that goes in there. And there's some more uh, stenciling on that side. There's a little dragonfly down here and another one of those tabs. And there is the vellum paper. Oh, you can see the vellum paper on this side. <laughs> there it is. Okay, and then on this side, it's the same as the other side. We have a, it has different paper, but this is from the Purring Cat Studio. I have a snippet right here, some more of that embellishing trim, and a butterfly <coughs> from the freebie kit. Excuse me. Okay, so we open it up and like the other side, we have another um, pocket over here. And then I, you can see I tied sorry silk on this one as well as the first one. And then on this side, I put a, another specimen card. There you go. I decorated this one with some lace and some little flowers, stitched flowers. And this backing paper is also from the Purring Cat Studio. Okay, and if you look, open this, pull this out of this envelope, and there is a Field Notes tablet with the waterfall cascading papers. Nice little notebook. I'm going to stick that one in there. And then we open up the little thing here. These are from the freebie kit. This is 
full size page that I cut in half. And these are two envelopes here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six envelopes I used. So on top here we have a um, book. I know. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> but this is what you use to stick in to your page. So if you have something bumpy like this and you wanted to write on the this page over here, you stick this in be in between here. And then you could write on a nice smooth surface. So I made this with some cardstock and I put some tissue paper over it. And then I um spritzed it with some metallic spray. I put the dragonfly on it. The dragonfly has the gold around its wings. And put this label on it and then I laminated it all. And the back is just the plain tissue paper with the spritz and the oxide ink over the top of it to highlight the wrinkles. Because I like the wrinkles. So this is uh, the other full size paper. You can see that there's, there's one side, there's the other side. And then in here we have another paper. <laughs> This is half of the other full size paper. <laughs> so, and this is backed with some bookkeeping paper, ledger paper. So that goes in there. Okay, and then in this envelope up here, I have another one of those uh, leaf paper clips and it has a bunch of the freebies. So I just made them into little journaling cards and they tuck right in there. And then on this side I have this other envelope and in this envelope there's another little mini notebook. So I just sewed some papers in there. And then I added this, this is from the freebies as well, this little, I had this paper clip, so I hid the paper clip in between the two bookmarks and I glued the top together. There you go. And we will close that up. That there. Ease up, we'll close that one, we'll close that one. And we flip this one over. And in the back, there's this pocket here. These papers are also from the Purring Cat Studio. This is from the freebie kit. This is the large three um, tags. So you can either use them together or cut them apart like I did to make the other little book. And then, um, so this is what I made out of mine. I made a trifold little booklet, more paper. So there's some more of the paper from the freebie kit from line.arrow Facebook group. I stuck another one of my specimen cards in there. I'm oh, sorry about the lighting. I tried my best. <laughs> So there is another plant from my garden. There's another pocket from the insert. And then up here in this pocket is another freebie journaling card. Put that up there. And that tucks right in there. And there you have it. That's my envelope folio botanical journal. I hope you liked it. Thanks for tuning in. If you like and subscribe my to my channel, it would uh, I would appreciate that. It would greatly help me grow my channel. Have a great day. God bless.